consuming evidence. Antibiotics are powerful medicines and, as we know, certainly save lives, but they're also used to keep animals healthy, livestock and poultry. I'm here with Dr. Doyle to find out what might be the connection of the use of antibiotics in animal health and the problem of antibiotic resistant illnesses in humans. Well, Carolyn, we know that when we use antibiotics, whether it be in, in feeding animals or treating animals or treating humans, that antimicrobial resistant bacteria can develop. And they have. If we continue to do this, we're going to develop strains of bacteria that are no longer treatable. The idea is if we were to use less antibiotics in not just animals, but also people, we would continue to have useful antibiotics in human therapy. Traditionally, farmers, animal producers have used antibiotics as a, we call it a sub-therapeutic treatment. That's to prevent illness from occurring. And also, some of the antibiotics can help promote the growth of these animals. And what we're finding is that if we do this, we can develop antibiotic-resistant bacteria. So let's reduce the use through the, the growth promotion reasons. Just focus on treating these animals if they get sick. How should we feel right now about the safety of feeding beef or chicken or pork to our families with uh, sort of the state of the situation with antibiotic use. The antibiotics typically are not coming through the animal or the meat. The concern is the development of antibiotic resistant microbes that are not gonna be treatable long term. We have to be more prudent in how we as humans and uh, use antibiotics and how doctors prescribe antibiotics. So real nutrition wisdom comes from consuming evidence. Thank you, Dr. Doyle, for feeding us the facts. I'm registered dietitian Carolyn O'Neill for Best Food Facts.